Welcome to the Neighborhood Financial Health Index Mapping Tool. In this tutorial video, you will learn how to explore the distribution and drivers of household financial health in Canadian neighborhoods. Start by clicking on the search bar at the top left corner of your screen. Type in a Canadian city or address you would like to focus on in exploring neighborhood financial health, then click Enter, then select from the drop-down list that appears. We will be exploring Toronto, Ontario, Canada in our first example. Notice the indicator box that appears on the left of your screen. This box displays the overall Neighborhood Financial Health Index rank for Toronto. Toronto ranks 1,161 out of 4,999 census subdivisions in Canada. A census subdivision is a municipality or area deemed equivalent to a municipality for reporting purposes. The overall index rank is based on how well the census subdivision scores on the six components or sub-indicators listed below it. The financial health color scale at the top shows the color associated with each level of financial health, from dark red for very financially vulnerable, all the way to dark green for very financially healthy. As you can see from the color and position of the marker on each indicator bar, when it comes to household income, liquid assets, and real estate assets, Toronto overall is financially healthy. When it comes to mortgage debt, however, Toronto is on the financially vulnerable end of the spectrum. You can see more information and data definitions by hovering the cursor over the information symbol wherever it's shown. Use the checkbox on the far right of each indicator bar to filter results to just show this indicator on the map. Notice how the distribution of financial health and vulnerability changes on the map when you switch indicators. How Toronto compares to surrounding census subdivisions changes as well. Next we will explore how to navigate around the map. Start by hiding the indicator box. Click the up arrow on the top right corner of the box. Now, move the cursor slowly around the map. Notice how a pop-up box appears displaying the overall index rank for each census subdivision that's highlighted. For a more detailed view at the level of census tracts, simply double-click on the census subdivision. Census tracts are smaller areas of geography with populations between 2,500 and 8,000. Notice how the colors on the map have changed as you zoom in. This indicates that while Toronto may overall be doing relatively well, when you get to the level of census tracts, some tracts are more financially healthy than others. This is a great way to identify financially healthy and financially vulnerable areas at a glance. This time, when you move the cursor slowly around the map, pop-up boxes will show the overall index rank based on census tracts. In this example, census tract number 0092.00 has an overall NFHI rank of 752 out of 1,086 census tracts in the Toronto Census metropolitan area. Depending on the size of your computer monitor, you may need to move the map around so it shows the census tract you are interested in viewing. Do this by holding down the left mouse button and dragging the map to the ideal position. To zoom in further, you can also scroll right on the zoom bar at the bottom right corner of your monitor. Click on the plus sign to zoom in and the minus sign to zoom out, moving the map around as needed. When we hover over census tract 0039, we can see that the overall index rank is 1,084 out of 1,086, signifying high financial vulnerability. Let's click on this census tract to view individual indicators. This particular census tract shows financial vulnerability in four of the six indicators, with household income and neighborhood poverty showing extreme vulnerability. This information can be very useful in determining where financial empowerment programs or supports may be best placed and the types of intervention these neighborhoods can benefit from. 
Let's take a look at another example. Once again, click on the search bar at the top left and type in Calgary. Click Enter and then select Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Right away, we see that Calgary ranks 348 out of 4,999 census subdivisions in Canada. Calgary is financially healthy in all indicators, except consumer debt and mortgage debt. As we double click on Calgary and continue to zoom in using the zoom bar, the colors show us the differences in financial health across census tracts, and we can see which tracts are financially healthy, which are financially vulnerable, and which falls somewhere in between. Let's click on a financially healthy census tract to take a closer look at how well it's doing on each of the underlying indicators. Are they all good, or are there some areas of financial vulnerability? As we hover a cursor over the track that includes Elbow Park, we see that it ranks second out of 248 census tracts. Now, let's take a look at the individual indicators for this census tract. Click once to open the indicator box. While this area is doing well in four of the six financial health indicators, we see that much higher than average consumer debt levels are a real source of financial vulnerability. By hovering over the eye to the right of the consumer debt column, we see that consumer debt in Calgary is higher than both the national and provincial averages. If we click on the box to the right of the consumer debt indicator bar, we can also see how this census tract compares to those close by with respects to this indicator. By looking at how individual neighborhoods are doing on all of these indicators, as well as on the Neighborhood Financial Health Index overall, we can learn a lot about the financial health of households, what is driving financial health and vulnerability in different neighborhoods, how financial health and vulnerability are distributed within each community, and how well neighborhoods are doing relative to their community overall, as well as to the national average. Interested in seeing how your neighborhood ranks on the Neighborhood Financial Health Index? You can also search the map by postal code. Let's try G1B0H7. That concludes our tour of the Neighborhood Financial Health Index. For more information on the tool, refer to our frequently asked questions at nfhi.ca.